Hi, and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. We're finally going to use all of our uh, tools and knowledge that we have about acids and bases and also stoichiometry that we've been doing in the previous lessons to solve some uh, acid-base reactions. Now, um, the title of the section, section is Acid-Base Titrations. Um, titration is a word that just means you take an acid and you add base to it, or vice versa, take a base and add acid to it, and you, you add just enough to totally neutralize the solution. So in other words, if you start with an acid, you know, has a pH of, I don't know, three or something like that, so it's low. When you get to pH of seven, it's neutral, right? You start adding base to it, it's gonna start reacting, reacting, and it's gonna raise that pH because you're basically starting to combine with those hydrogen ions in the solution, in the acid. And once they're all combined, um, then there's no more acid. It's, it's right at the pH of seven, which is neutral. So this experiment that you do a lot of times in a chemistry lab is called a titration. When you'll start with an acid or a base or whatever and you'll add the opposite substance. So if you start with an acid, you'll start adding a base to it just to the point where the solution is neutral. Now, how do you know when it's neutral? Uh, you, you, you could measure it with these little dipsticks and look at the color and compare it and all that. But typically what you do is you add a little bit of a indicator solution to the acid and so that usually changes its color. There are many different indicator solutions, so it doesn't really matter, but you add a little bit of coloring, and then whenever the titration is just perfect and everything's neutral, then that indicator changes color. And as soon as you add that very last drop and that indicator changes color, the pH is zero, I'm sorry, the pH is seven, and then you are said you've neutralized it, you've reached what we call the equivalence point of the titration, and the thing is titrated, it's done, you don't add any more. And then you might wanna know, well, how much did I have to add? How much of this base did I need to add in order to fully neutralize or fully titrate or fully reach the equivalence point for this acid that I have? So that's what all of these titration problems are gonna be basically about. We're going to be neutralizing the acid or the base, and we're gonna generally be interested in how much stuff did it take in moles or whatever to do it. How much did it take? And it's gonna depend on what kind of acid it is, what the concentration of the acid is or the base, and, and all of those other factors. So what we're gonna do now is write this simple little problem on the board. I call it simple. I mean, everything's simple after you know how to do it. We're gonna take it one step at a time to make sure that you understand everything. So the question is how many um, milliliters, so I'll put ML, how many milliliters of 0 0.250 molar hydrochloric acid, this is what the molar hydrochloric acid means, is needed to neutralize 